guys welcome back to cute crochet my name is Sri and in today's video I am going to be showing you how I made this cute little teddy bear teddy bear and valentine's day are right around the corner so it's the perfect time to get started with making this cute little friend for your loved ones so let's get started I am going to be using this very pretty brown color for my bear and with this I am going to be using a 3mm crochet hook which is a couple of sizes smaller than what is recommended for my yarn. I do this so my stitches are nice and tight. We are going to start with the magic circle. Loop your yarn up and over your finger like so forming a cross in the front. Then insert your hook underneath the cross, take the yarn from the other side and pull through. Yarn over and pull through the loop on your hook and that completes your magic circle. We are going to be working into this circle now. Chain 1 to start. To make a single crochet, insert your hook into the magic circle and pull up a loop. You will have 2 loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through 2 and that completes 1 single crochet. Now we are going to make 5 more single crochets into the magic circle in the same way. One, two, three, four, five, and 6 Once you have 6 single crochet stitches, pull on this tail to cinch the circle closed and that brings you to the end of your first round. At the end of round 1, you will have 6 single crochet stitches. Mark the last stitch of your round because we are going to be working in continuous rounds. To do that, you can use anything. I am using a paper clip but if you have proper stitch markers, you can use those or you can use a safety pin or a yarn in a different color. For round 2, start by placing one single crochet directly into the next stitch. Getting into this stitch can be a bit tricky but you can get into it. Then place one more single crochet into the same stitch. Then place two single crochets into the next stitch. Continue to make 2 single crochets in each of the remaining stitches. For the last stitch of the round, remove the stitch marker and place 2 single crochets into that stitch. At the end of round 2, you will have 12 single crochet stitches. Mark the last stitch of the round again. For round 3, we are going to make 1 single crochet into the first stitch. Then 2 single crochets into the second stitch. Again 1 single crochet into the third stitch. And 2 single crochets into the 4th stitch. So here we are essentially increasing in every alternate stitch. Repeat this sequence of 1 single crochet, 2 single crochet, 1 single crochet, 2 single crochet all the way around. Here I am almost at the end of round 3. On the second last stitch I am going to place 1 single crochet and on the last stitch I am going to be placing 2 single crochets. You should always be placing 2 single crochets at the end of your increased rounds. If you are not doing that maybe you have done something wrong in your counting and you might have to recheck your work. Do not forget to mark the last stitch of your round. At the end of round 3 you will have 18 single crochet stitches. For round 4, we are going to be doing 1 single crochet into the 1st stitch, 1 single crochet into the 2nd stitch and then 2 single crochets in 3rd stitch. So, we are going to be increasing in every 3rd stitch. Repeat this sequence all the way around. 
At the end of round 4, remove the stitch marker and place 2 single crochets into the last stitch. Mark the last stitch of the round. At the end of round 4, you should have 24 single crochet stitches. For round 5, we are going to make 1 single crochet into the first 3 stitches and then increase in the 4th stitch. Continue to repeat this sequence all the way around, 1 single crochet into the next 3 stitches and then 1 increase on the 4th stitch all the way around. Place 2 single crochets at the last stitch of the round. At the end of round 5, you should have 30 single crochet stitches. Always mark the last stitch of the round. So we gradually increase the size of our round. Round 5 was our last increase round for now. Then we are going to simply maintain the number of stitches. For round 6, we are going to be placing one single crochet into each stitch all the way around. At the end of round 6, we will have the same stitch count as round 5, which is 30 single crochets. Your piece should already start to curl up like this. Now we are going to repeat round 6 7 more times so up till round 13. Here I finished making 13 rounds 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. Your piece should look something like this. Now from the next round onwards we are going to start decreasing. To do that we are going to do the exact opposite of what we did for the increase rounds. On the last increase round, we made 3 single crochets and then 2 single crochets into the next stitch. So for the decrease round, we are going to first make 1 single crochet into the first 3 stitches. Then we are going to stitch the 4th and the 5th stitch together. To do that, start like you normally would for a single crochet. But then instead of finishing this stitch, insert your hook into the next stitch and pull up a loop. When you have 3 loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all 3. This is a decrease stitch. Now we are again going to repeat this sequence again. 1 single crochet into the next 3 stitches. Then we are going to stitch the next 2 stitches together. And repeat this sequence all the way around. Now I'm at the last two stitches. I'm removing the stitch marker and making one more decrease stitch. At the end of round 14, you will have 24 single crochet stitches. Round 15 is going to be another decrease round. We are going to make one single crochet into the first two stitches and then we are going to do one decrease stitch into the third and fourth stitch. So one single crochet into the first stitch, one single crochet into the second stitch and then the third and fourth stitches together. Repeat the sequence all the way around. We are going to decrease for the last two stitches. At the end of round 15 you will have 18 single crochet stitches. You will start to see that your body is starting to close up like this. For round 16, single crochet into the next stitch and then make one decrease stitch. Continue to repeat this sequence all the way around. At the end of round 16, you will have 12 single crochet stitches. At this point, we are going to stuff the body. From round 17, we are going to start making the head and so we are going to start increasing. Make one single crochet into the first stitch 
and into the next stitch place two single crochets I am placing one finger on top of the stuffing to keep it out of the way repeat this sequence all the way around into the last stitch you should place two single crochet stitches at the end of round 17 you should have 18 single crochets For round 18, place 1 single crochet into the first 2 stitches. And then place 2 single crochets into the next stitch. And repeat this sequence all the way around. At the end of the round, place 2 single crochets at the last stitch. You should have 24 single crochet stitches at the end of round 18. For round 19, place 1 single crochet into the next 3 stitches Then 2 single crochets into the next stitch Continue to repeat this pattern all the way around At the end of round 19, you will have 30 single crochet stitches For round 20, we are going to place one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. At the end of round 20, you will again have 30 single crochet stitches. Now we are going to repeat row 20 4 more times. So for rows 21, 22, 23, and 24, I'm going to complete that and meet back up with you. For round 25, we are going to again start decreasing. So for that, we are going to place one single crochet into the next three stitches. Then we are going to stitch the 4th and 5th stitch together. Repeat this sequence all the way around. At the end of round 25, you will have 24 single crochet stitches. For round 26, place 1 single crochet into the next 2 stitches. And then stitch the 3rd and 4th stitch together. Repeat this sequence all the way around. At the end of round 26, you will have 18 single crochets. For round 27, make 1 single crochet into the next stitch. And then 2 together. Repeat this pattern all the way around. At the end of round 27, you will have 12 single crochet stitches. At this point, we are going to stuff the head. We are going to make one last decrease round for round 28, decrease in every 2 stitches. At the end of round 28, you should have 6 stitches left. You should have a tiny hole remaining. Now snip the yarn and fasten off. Weave that tail in and out through the front loops of the last 6 single crochets. Then when you pull on that tail that will cinch the center hole closed. Using a yarn needle, bring the tail in through that hole on the top and then out through the back side of the amigurumi. Leave it hanging there for now. And we're done with the main head and body portion. The feet, ear, tails and muzzles all have pretty similar steps so I'm going to show you them all at once. Start by making a magic circle in the same way as before. 
chain 1 to start and then place 6 single crochets into the magic circle. After that pull on the tail to cinch the magic circle. Then slip stitch on top of the first single crochet to join. That will bring you to the end of round 1. For round 2, chain 1 to start and then place 2 single crochets into the same stitch. Continue to place 2 single crochets in each stitch all the way around. At the end of round 2, you will have 12 single crochet stitches. Slip stitch on top of the first single crochet to join. For round 3, chain 1 to start and we are going to place 1 single crochet in each stitch all the way around. At the end of round 3, you should have 12 single crochets again. Notice that since we are joining at the end of each round, we are not marking the last stitches anymore. Again, slip stitch on top of the first single crochet to join. For the muzzle, you are going to want to stop at this point. I made the muzzle in white but you can also make it in brown. For round 4, again chain 1 to start and then place 1 single crochet in each stitch all the way around. For the ears and the tail, we are going to stop at this point. For the ears, make 2 of these pieces and for the tail, only make 1. For the feet, we are going to make 1 more round. Chain 1 to start and place 1 single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And at the end, slip stitch on top of the first single crochet to join. Then snip the yarn and fasten off. Leave a long enough tail for sewing after making each piece. We are going to need two of these pieces for the feet. The arms are going to be slightly different. Start by making a magic circle again. Chain 1 to start and then place 8 single crochets into the magic circle. After that, pull on the tail to cinch the magic circle. Then directly make one single crochet into the first single crochet. And continue to make one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. Notice that I didn't mark the last stitch of the round because this piece is going to be too small and getting around the stitch marker will be tricky. Instead, I am keeping count in my head. Repeat round 2 4 more times for a total of 6 rounds. After you've made the 6 rounds, stuff the arm lightly. To stuff something this narrow, I like to use the back of a crochet hook. Then we are going to slip stitch the top edge closed. Insert your hook through the next stitch and the stitch directly opposite to it. And then yarn over and pull through all the loops on your hook. Repeat this 3 more times across the top edge of the arm. You can also use a needle and thread to do this. In the end, chain 1 and fasten off leaving a long enough tail for sewing. You will again need 2 of these pieces. Now we have all the individual pieces made, the arms, the legs, the ears, the muzzle, the tail and of course the head and the body. Now it's time to sew all the pieces together. Position the pieces how you like on the body and pin them in place. At this point you can position the arms to have a certain expression such as waving or you can also make it hold something like maybe a heart. Pinch the piece of the ear with your thumb and then place it. Secure it in place with a pin. Make sure that you are placing the two ears at the same height. For that you can count the number of rows from the top. For the feet, stuff them lightly first. And then place it on the body. Secure it in place with the pin. Repeat the same thing for the other foot. For the tail, place it in a way that the bear can sit comfortably. 
For the muzzle, we have to embroider the nose and mouth first. I am doing that with some black yarn. Tie a knot at the back to secure the embroidery. Stuff it very lightly and then place it on. For the bow start by making a magic circle and I am using a smaller crochet hook for this. Then start by making chain 2 and then we are going to place 2 double crochets into the magic circle, yarn over, insert your hook into the magic circle and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through 2, yarn over and pull through 2. We are going to do this one more time. Then again chain 2 and slip stitch into the magic circle. This is one half of the bow complete. We are going to repeat the same thing for the other half. Chain 2. Place 2 double crochets. Chain 2 and slip stitch into the magic circle to join. Cut the yarn leaving a long enough tail so that we can wrap it around the bow a few times and then sew it on. Pull on this tail to cinch the magic circle. Here the bow has already started taking shape but to define it even more I am going to wrap this tail a couple of times around the center of the bow. Then tie a knot at the back to secure it in place. Place it on the bear and secure it in place with a pin. Now we are going to stitch all the pieces together which is in my opinion the most important step in making an amigurumi. How neat your stitches are will determine whether your amigurumi will look professionally made or it will look amateurish and sloppy. So you definitely want to take your time here and make your stitches as neat and even as you can. To keep my stitches even I take only one loop from each of the pieces and sew them at a time. Once your piece is sufficiently sewn on you can remove the pin and sew it the rest of the way through. Once the piece is completely sewn on, insert your needle from underneath it and bring it out the back of the amigurumi and leave it hanging there for now. Looks great, I am going to repeat this for the other ear. I am going to bring this tail out through the same hole as before. Once I have a couple of tails at the back like this, I am going to tie a knot. Cut the tails quite short and then push that knot in into the amigurumi using the back of your needle. Whenever it is possible, pick up the loops from the back side of the piece you are sewing so that the stitches remain relatively hidden. For every piece bring the tails out through the back and once you have 2 or 3 tails at the same place tie a knot and then push it in to hide it. Pretty much do the same steps for all the pieces.
now all the pieces have been sewn together all that's left are the eyes i'm sticking the eyes on with some fabric glue if you are making this for a young person then this is definitely not a good idea you should always be using safety eyes since this can be a choking hazard since i'm making this for my boyfriend who is very much an adult i think it will be fine for the eyes itself i painted some beads that were of the right size with some black nail polish and then i went over it with some top coat to make it extra shiny i could not for the life of me find some beads that were black and in the right size It's so adorable. I hope you loved it as much as I do. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.